Hey y'all, it's American Mom. This week we're going to be watching episodes 7 and 8 of season 2, The Leftovers. Last week was a doozy, both episodes. And I know from here on out, y'all told me I'm halfway through season 2 and just to hold on. So I am. And then we'll finish up this season and go into season 3. And just to keep holding on from here on out. And I will do that. So I'm prepared. <laughs> so the first episode last week was about, we found out that Mary is pregnant and how it wasn't possible. Like they'd been trying for 10 years, but the first night they were in miracle, she woke up according to Matt, which nobody else believes, but that they talked for hours and they made love and that's how she became pregnant. But then she went right back to sleep. The second episode was all about Nora is, you know, thinking now that she's a lens. She's mad about it, but it's got her thinking as well. Like, I don't think she's the reason why Evie and the others disappeared. Like, why her and why her whole family? But I don't know. And Kevin is openly talking to Patty now, which I love. I, I really like dead Patty. I really do. She's hilarious, but she got, she needs to go away sometimes because he's looking crazy. I don't know what this episode's going to entail, but I'm ready just to get right into this. This is episode seven. Let's do this. Bless him. It's for his own safety, you know? <laughs> She's gone. It's going to be a hard day, buddy. Why? I told you not to tell her. Bullshit. Of course she ran off. You sat right here and watched her do it. Barely even looked at you. Kind of didn't leave her any choice once you told her about me. And you tell your daughter she's going to leave you, too. Oh, a, a note. Oh, shit. It's real. Where did you find that? What'd you do? Just give me the letter, honey. It's, that's mine. What'd you do? Okay. Jill, stop. Oh. Hey, stop it. Stop Jill, listen. stop it right now. Give me that. Mary and the baby are with me. Don't call. Oh, yeah, Mary. She took Mary, too. So she just left? Oh, hell. You know what? I'll tell you in a minute. No. I mean, I, I, Jill. Him the, okay. oh, Jill, come on. Jill, I can fix this, Jill. Jill! She told him he was going to park it up, but... Honey! I'll tell you what I'm thinking in a minute. Like I said, Kevin. Hard day. Daddy! Okay, here's the opening. I can talk now. This happy song. Whatever. Okay. I think Nora has left because she doesn't want uh, Jill and Kevin to disappear. She feels she really feels like she's a lens. If she took off, it's not because of what he said about Patty. Am I right? Don't tell me. <laughs> but I think I'm right. She wouldn't do that because. I think she's doing it to keep them safe. Yeah, that's my answer. That's my final answer. All right, come on. It's a great song, but I don't know what it's talking about. <laughs> yes, we're all wondering where and why we all came from, where and how. Let's finish this up. Please call me back. I love you. I knew it. I hope she calls back. Do you? Oh. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> hold this. Hold on. It's a duck. <laughs> Don't tell me now. Is it? <laughs> it's a fucking duck. <laughs> I'm glad you finally asked, Kevin. There is something you need 
do. What? In Cairo, Egypt, there is an ancient artifact. What? It's in a museum now. They found it in the tomb of Amenhotep. Scholars call it the wishing cup. You need to acquire this cup. It's more of a chalice, actually. It's going to be heavily guarded, but you need to get it any way you can. Because once you do, you need to fill it with your cum, Kevin. And then you need to drink it down. Oh! Oh, hell! Every last mm -mm. drop. Mm -mm. Jesus, Kevin. Uh, I have no fucking idea what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I don't have some asshole with a halo giving me instructions. <laughs> I killed myself. Next thing I know, I'm saddled with you. Oh. I'm just as fucking lost as you are. Okay, Patty. That's just a story. <laughs> the woman that you see? Her name's Patty. She dresses in white. I think we're going to see Virgil. Two blocks up, make a left. <laughs> Bless him. What do they know? Maybe you'll know why Nora left too. But I think it's because of what I said. All right. Well, come on in. We'll go over it again. It's just you. He sees her. Moses saw her too. Remember? He was asleep. I certainly couldn't tell. Wake up! I about dropped this damn glass in my lap. My sleep. Okay, I'll take your word for it. And if you want to get her off you, you can't do it on your turf. You got to go to hers. Her grave? The other place. What other place? What were we talking about? I don't want to do that. You die. <gasps> no, no, no. That's where he tried to kill himself. Grabbed a piece of my rope and picked up a cinder block from oh, outside. Oh, hell! Down, off you walked into the woods. That's why. Now, I told you you needed help, you needed a guide, but you were itching to do battle. So off you went to do it. Oh. But well, you've got yourself a most powerful adversary. He better stay alive and just deal with her. I don't know. Who are you? I'm just someone who once had an adversary of his own. And when I went over, I did battle with my adversary. I heard him a long time ago. Why? How? And then he hurt me back. Yeah, but I need to know what you did. And he freed me. By killing me? Just temporarily, right? Temporarily. I just... <laughs> this is like Flatliners. How are they going to control this? And why the fuck are you out here in the woods calling for me? This man gave you a solution, and you ran. You think I'm scared to do battle with you? Oh, Kevin. I am so desperate to do battle. OK. Does it so freeze? let's go. Let's go back. OK. Right now. <sighs> let's go fucking die. Wow! Will this free her too? Does this free- I have responsibilities. Well, I'm a father. But you'll come back. Maybe Jill would be better off. Uh, I, I know I don't have any right to be here. Um, I just to bother you. And I know you have every right to move on and I, and I respect your boundaries, but I just, I need to talk to Tommy. Tommy's not here. He's really not. But what went wrong? I haven't spoken to him in 
I haven't seen him in over a year. Oh, well, it was a palm print found on the car that the girls disappeared from. Figured I'd give all the innocent men an opportunity to get on the right list. Database right now. Sorry, man, but, uh, oh hell! Oh, you know who can help you out? Oh, this is gonna Locksmith. go fast. Good. Oh, I think he needs. Right. Thanks. Kill himself. Yeah. But come back. He needs to go to Virgil. I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh. John Ruffin's creeping me out now. Get away! I didn't know it was gonna go well, through the machine right away. That's that. You went there to get free and you got caught because it was finally over. No. Folks, don't do this at home. That's freedom. No. Please figure it out. Yeah, well, that's the complicated part. It's twice now. Uh, telling her about Patty's not so complicated because she knew her granddad did all that. But to say to be free of Patty, I gotta kill myself and then come back and magic or whatever Virgil does is that's complicated. Oh my God. Oh, he's going to see Lori. Is she telling you to do something? Mm hmm. Something you don't want to do? Mm hmm. She'd want to stay as far away from me as possible. Why? Because I can prove she doesn't exist. Can I tell you about belief, Kevin? <sighs> when the mind is in emotional distress, it will grasp at any construct that makes it feel better. After the 14th, the whole world needed to feel better. We were all in emotional distress. So that made all of us susceptible to false belief, to be taken advantage of. We convince people that he could take their pain away just by hugging them. Mm -hmm. We had a story. We made it up, but it worked. And I mean, Tommy hated it, the lying. And I said it didn't matter as long as we were helping people, but he disagreed. And we had a, uh, we had a, had a, had a fight and he, he said that he, he couldn't. What I'm trying to say. So he doesn't have the power? He lied about that? Is that um, they believed it. And now you are manifesting the leader of that cult because you need someone to turn it off. There is no Patty, Kevin. She makes sense, but I, we see her, too. There is only you. No, I don't know. Kevin, I don't understand. Will you come with me? Keep her with you at all times if Patty won't go near her. If you're there, then, then she'll leave me alone. Right. And you still have to figure it out. No. I bet she'll still. I don't think that's a good idea. Do it. I don't think she'll come yeah. on and see me. Just whatever. I didn't want to see you. <laughs> but I'm getting over that. Okay. Hello? I don't want to talk about you seeing a dead woman. I know. I know it's. I, I know, and I, and I know I should have told you sooner uh, when, when it started, like we promised each other, but I was, I was scared you were going to run, and you, and, you, and you did. And you also handcuffed me to a bed, and you didn't even leave me with a key. Oh, hell. She was blocking it. Yep. I just need to know that when I do, that you'd believe me. Tell her Lori's helping you. That's gonna come up. Because I would never lie to you. I'd like that. So it was because of what he said? Lori said and go on medication. 
He's going to do this. Why wouldn't we try medication first? He looks upset. Were they arguing? God be with you. God be with you. Okay. What's that mean? Why is he saying that? Has he ever done this before? He just happened to come back when he was shot. But what? What? What, what are we doing? What is that? This is going to start you back up. Now. Are you sure? I'm going to time this. Brain will be fine for up to five minutes. I'll give you the shot long before that. Do we of course not. have to do this? Life is precious. All life is precious, says Morgan. That's from The Walking Dead. His primary qualification is that he's a pedophile. Shut the fuck up, Eddie. He's a pedophile? What? Shame. 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 I don't like it. He said he finally just did what they told him to do. That's right. That's right. Kevin Scott! Fucking hell! Goodbye, Patty. She doesn't want to... She doesn't want to be released. What's going on? Motherfucker! What? <gasps> you bastard. Oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. You don't get to do that. in the last 10 minutes when he took off because Lori showed up and Jill didn't like it but he got the key and he took off he went to Virgil's when he got to Virgil's the shit hit the fan what was all that about did Michael know that this was the plan that he was going to do this why did he say Virgil was a pedophile is that what happened because if he was a pedophile then I'm glad John Murphy shot him he should have shot his, his wee wee off don't get me started so i need I, that was going through my mind but then he was going to go through with the killing patty stops him says no and then we go back through what his dad went through and then she's like oh i do want you to do it that's how the voices stop but then she goes no like what is it he drinks it and the stuff that's going to bring him back virgil i thought you know like nurses kind of do like the little tip and like, you know, a little bit has to come out so that there's no bubbles. We all know that. It just kept going and going and going and he got rid of it. And before I could really comprehend that, then he puts a gun in his mouth. Blows his brains out. Whatever. Bye, Virgil. But oh, no more Kevin? Does Kevin appear in the show like Patty does? Who does he appear to? I can't think of anything else from the beginning to talk about other than Lori showing up and Nora is gone with the baby. And I was for sure that it had something to do with Nora thinking she was a lens and that she does, you know, she wants to get away from people, but it was because she was scared that he was talking to dead Patty. I don't, we don't know where she is. It wouldn't show us her surroundings, but she's with Mary and the baby. Okay. And then, Lori's still looking for Tom, and like we know now, her and little Tom made up this thing about he could do the hugs now, and it was so people could believe it and something to believe in. And <sighs> my mind, this was a really good episode, though. 
really good. This is getting deep. This is getting intense. It's not getting intense. It's been intense. But I mean deeper, like a deeper layer of the onion. Like then his palm print. Oh, I forgot about the palm print. That went through immediately. I thought they were making copies. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> mm. I love this show though. I really do. I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am. Don't forget full episodes starting in August in full picture in picture on Patreon. Check it out until the next video and the next time. Bye.